All right, so what, uh, the, our first uh, lesson is about patterns of numbers in a sequence. Okay. Uh, so you have to figure out, you know, that you get, you are given a sequence of numbers. And uh, I, I'm not going to tell you how do we generate this sequence of numbers, but you have to analyze the data and figure it out by yourself. Then, uh, then, uh, then you solve the problem, okay? Solve the mystery, you know, okay? So this is a, a yeah. So for example, the first problem, okay? Uh, you are given the sequence of numbers, one, four, seven, ten. Then I'm not going to tell you the next number, then 16 and then 19 and so on. So my question is, what is the number in the inside parenthesis? Okay, what is the number inside the parenthesis? Okay, you look at this sequence of numbers and you have to figure out how did it, you know, how did the teacher create those numbers, right? Sequence of numbers. And you will see that from one to four, it's increasing, right? One to four, right? So one plus four, uh, one, uh, one plus three, you get four. So four plus three, you get seven. Seven plus three, you get 10. So the next one should be, the answer is, okay? So it's 10 plus three is 13. Then 13 plus three is 16. 16 plus three is gonna be 19, right? <coughs> So this is the, how do we get answer. Uh, yeah, anyone have answers? Yeah, Kevin got, gave me the answer. You know, if you have answers, you can, you can uh, type in the chat window, okay? So I can, I can tell you that you already have the answers, okay? So second problem, so you're given the number two, four, eight, 16, and some number we don't know, okay? And I want to, you give me the other two numbers in the, in the parenthesis. So you take a look at, of course, this sequence of numbers are you increasing, right? Are you increasing? And, uh, and the increasing. So, but it's not just add a number, fixed number, you know, it's not like add a two, you get four, then you add a two, you, you will not get eight, you will get six. So actually you double it. So this time we use a multiplication. Okay, eight times two is 16, 16 times two. So the first number is gonna be 16 times two is 32. Then the next number, right? And, uh, and it'll give me 32 times two is 64. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. You have three, six, nine, 12, and this number, and 18 and 21, okay? So what is the number in them? What is the missing number? Okay, Jessica, so good job, okay? So, so this time it's going to be plus three, right? Plus three, plus three. So you also have to double check, right? So that number plus three is going to be, 12 plus three is going to be 15. 15 plus three, you get, you get, you know, 18, 18 plus three, 21. So the answer is 15, okay? The answer is 15, okay. Uh, all right, so now, and there's a problem, okay? You're given a sequence of this number into 162. So what is a missing number? Now you look at this, right? You have to figure out how do we get the next one, each step, <laughs> right? How do we get the next one, each step? From two to six, jump, right? And from six to 18, right? So you will see that from two to six, from six to eight, these two numbers actually give you the idea. Then you multiply by three, multiply by three, then this multiply by three. So that number multiply by, uh, uh, that number is of 18 multiply by three, okay? 
Yeah, 18 multiplied by 3. It's going to be 18 multiplied by 3 is 54. And you double check, okay? 54 times 3 is going to be 162. So, yes. You know, there are sometimes like a multiple choices for the first the three numbers. And then you find out if you use this, you know, if we multiply by 3, you are not able to get 162. Then maybe it's another operation you're using. We call it operation on the numbers. Okay, so that's the reason I want you to double check whether you still can get 162. Okay, 162. Uh, so now let's look at a very uh, a di yeah, much different uh, sequence. One, two, okay, no difference. Four, okay, seven, and some number, 16, 22. So what is the missing number? Okay. So this is a little bit challenging. I'll give you one minute to think of it, maybe half, half a minute, okay? Some of you can probably can figure it out. Look at this number, okay? One, two, four, seven. Right. Yeah. So you see, if you use addition, what the, how do you get the next number, right? If you use addition, you have to plus one. And this must plus two. That must be three. Okay, you get a one, two, three. So you get a pretty good idea. This should be plus four. Then you plus five and plus uh, six. Okay. So let's see. 16 plus 6 is 22, so I guess it's true, right? And uh, and then um, the number is going to be 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 plus 5 is 16. Good. So 11 is the answer. Okay? So it's not always, you know, add the same number. You add another sequence of numbers good, in good form, you know? So another way you can do is just take a difference, you know, 2 minus 1 is 1 and 4 minus, you know, 2 minus 1 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 7 minus 4 is going to be 3, so you get 1, 2, 3, right? And this number minus 7 should be equal to 4, right? And uh, 16 minus that number should be equal to 5. And then, then the 22 minus 16 should be equal to 6. So it clearly this number should be 11, okay? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, and I'm going to ask you to work out the next problem. You're given 10, 11, 13, 16, 20, the missing number, and 31. Okay, please find out the missing number. And you already got it. Good job. Okay. And then you can do the same thing here. You just take the difference, right? So 11, 10, you know, this plus 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4. And, you know, this number should be 20 plus 5 is 25. Then you check that 25 plus 6 is going to be 31. Yes, great. Okay, right, now we have a different type of problems, okay? Have a 23, be careful, okay? 4, 20, 6, 17, 8, this number and that number, okay? And then 11 and the 12, oh, that's really weird sequence, okay? Right? <laughs> that's really weird sequence. And, uh, and, uh, and how do you, 
Okay, figured out those two missing numbers. So Kevin says too easy, right? Now I'm giving give you a different problem. Okay, so look at this sequence, right? Clearly at the very beginning, you can see that the number is up and down, up and down, right? So that looks like there's two separate sequences embedding that, uh, bonded together. So, uh, <coughs> so this may be a sequence, you know, formed, okay? It's formed a sequence. And then, then there'll be this, Okay, if you recognize that, then you probably can solve the problem. Okay, so 23, 20, 17 decreased by three each time. So this first number is going to be 17 minus three. <coughs> okay, it's going to be 14. Okay, and uh, the other one, it's increased by two. So the other one will be increased by two, right? From here to here to here. So it's going to be eight plus two is going to be 10, okay? And then 10 plus two is going to be 12. You know, it's plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, okay? So that's why 14 and 10 are the answers. Yeah, 14 and 10 are answers. So I'm going to ask you to do next one. Okay. 13, two, 15, four, 17, eight. Then this, then this. Let's figure out those two numbers. Uh, sorry, this is 17, right? 17, we like 17. Right? All right, so this is also obviously it's alternating series, we call it sequence. So it look, looks like that, seven, the two, four, eight, the next one, right? And this goes like that, okay? From here, you plus two, plus two, plus two, and this will be multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two. So the first one is going to be 17 plus two is 19. The second number should be eight times two, 16, okay? Oh, what the way they, oh, welcome, camera. We are, this is the elementary math class. I guess you already graduated from this class. Yeah. Yeah, this is about patterns, okay? Ah, you, now she attended this before. Okay. All right, so let's try another one. Uh, so we have a nine, two, Nine, six, ten, eighteen, eleven, fifty-four, and then we have two missing numbers. Okay, can you figure out the pattern? Yeah. 
Yeah, camera young, you know, you can stay here and uh, watch it and see if you can do the problems. Okay, let's review. Okay, so 296, 10, 18, 11, 54. So it's, uh, you should know this is alternating series and you're trying to figure it out uh, uh, how, how those number changes, okay? And this, how those number changes, okay? And you will see that two from two to six is a difference or a division, right? And you find out, I probably just multiply by three, multiply by three, multiply by three, right? And from nine to 10, 11, it's increased by one, right? So the first parenthesis should be 11 plus one, that's 12. The second parenthesis should be 54 times three. It's going to be 162. Okay, so you got two numbers. All right. We got two numbers. Now I'm going to give you uh, yeah, let's do one more problem, then uh, then uh, we're going to look at different type of problems. 11, 8, 14, then let's figure out those two missing numbers. Wow. All right, how do you do that, right? You, we, once we see the, this, this, the numbers up or down, right? So that means there is a uh, two sequence of numbers. Right, so the first parenthesis should be, I think it's a multiplied by two, multiplied by two, multiplied by two. So it should be eight times two, 16. The other number, each time from five to eight, eight to 11, 11 to 14 is just eight to three. So be 14 plus three, it's gonna be 17. All right, so now let's take a look at a strange number, a sequence. I have a one, one, no difference, two, three, five, eight, 13, okay, and 34. Hey, what is the missing number? Oh, we do have someone figured out? Good. Okay. So you see that from one to one, no change, right? Okay, no change. But from one to two and three, okay, this looks like the sum of the two previous terms, okay? So add them together, you get the next term. Add them together, you get the next term. So, so, so uh, two is a one plus one, right? Or, you know, you can say one plus one equals two, okay? And one plus two equals three. So one plus one equals two. And, uh, and the one plus two equals three. You see the next one. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and the two plus three equals five. That's how do you get the next term, right? Uh, three plus five is going to be eight, okay? Then five plus, Eight is going to be thirteen. Great. 
So that's why the next number is eight plus 13 is gonna be 21. So 21 should be answered, but you double check, you know, 20, uh, 13 plus 21 is gonna be 34. That's, yeah, that's indeed that, okay. So that's how do we get this number, okay. And similarly, let's do the next problem. That's two, two, four, six, 10, 16, and trying to figure out the next number. So it's 26, right? So it's because two plus two equals four, two plus four equals six, four plus six equals 10. This still has the same idea. It's a previous, the sum of two previous terms, right? And six plus 10 is given 16. So the next one should be six, should be what? The next one should be 10 plus 16, that'll be 26. So 26 will be that. All right, so now I'm going to give a different type of problems. Okay. okay. So I begin with a one. Okay, then I get three. Then I get seven. Okay. Then I get 13. Then I got 21. Okay. And what is next now? Haha. <laughs> Okay, this is very difficult. We do have someone get it. Kevin, great job. All right, so the way we do is a typical method is just take the difference, okay? So, difference of two terms, it's going to be two. Seven minus three is going to be four. 13 minus seven is going to be six. 21 minus 13 is going to be eight. So that number minus 21 should be 10, right? Okay, so, so, yeah, so it's clearly this number should be 21 plus 10, 31. Okay. Yeah, so this is a great, okay? So you, you see that this sequence, you see two, three, two, four, six, eight, you right? It's increased by, right? All right, so the next one, let's see. Three, four, right? And uh, six. And the nine. So, uh, so ten. And what is next now? Okay. Come on, who type this? Don't type too many, okay? It's only one. All right, so, so you will see that four minus three is one, six minus four is gonna be two, 
9 minus 6 is going to 3, 13 minus 9 is going to 4. So clearly, the last number minus 13 is going to be 5. That implies that number is going to be 18. Okay? So 18 is the correct answer. Are you familiar with perfect squares? So called perfect squares, right? So perfect square is a square, right? It's a one, two squares, four, right? And uh, and uh, and uh, something like that, right? And the three square equals nine. So if you know the perfect square, then I, you know, I get, you know, I get a one. Four, nine, right, 16, 20, you know, 16, right, uh, 25, and what is the next number? Okay. So the next number is 36, right? Yeah, the next number is six square is thirty-six. Okay. Okay, so our next problem. One, two, six, fifteen, thirty-one. Okay, then uh, you know, then uh, fifty-six. What is the next number? Aha, uh -huh, right? This is the Okay, uh, no, your brain hurts, okay. <laughs> well, I tell you, just take a difference, right? Two minus one is one, right? Six minus two is four, right? Okay, 15 minus six is gonna be nine, right? 31 minus 15 is going to be what? 16. 56 minus 31 is going to be what? 25. 
right? And that number minus 56 should be what? 36, that's what they did, right? <laughs> okay, so that number should be 36 plus 56, it's two, 92. Okay, just takes the difference. Okay, you take the difference, then uh, and then see what do you how does how does that look like? Okay. Okay. Uh, another tricky problem is to us also cause some troubles. One zero one three eight twenty one one hundred forty four. Okay. Let me explain to you. Uh, yeah, they actually this this is a much much harder to uh, much harder to uh, yeah. Kevin says you have trouble. So you see, the the standard method is just take a difference two consecutive terms. Okay, then you get a sequence of a new numbers. As this sequence of new numbers is there is a pattern here, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36. Because that is a perfect square. We just did it, right? So what is next perfect square? Which should be 6, 36. Okay? So the difference of two consecutive terms is a perfect, and uh, again, is a perfect square. Okay? But this one, uh, it's, uh, it's really difficult to figure it out. Uh, you can, if you take the difference, okay, you probably don't, uh, don't get that, okay? So idea is, uh, how do you get to the next one? Uh, I'm not, I just briefly talk about, okay? This three actually is going to be three times one minus zero, okay? So this is, this one is from here, and that zero is from here. And then eight uh, is going to be eight, is going to be three times three minus one, okay? 21 is a three times the previous number and the minus one. Basically, yeah, this is how do we generate, okay? So basically, times the previous number and then subtract the one. The previous number times three and subtract the one, okay? You, uh, you have to subtract the one, otherwise you don't get, you know, yeah, let me check, double check. I suppose just, so I'm not subject one, subject two. Yeah, all right. Uh, one, two, zero, one, well, subject three, because this is one, zero, three, okay? And uh, and uh, subtract the previous terms. So, so think about this. Yeah, this here, it's here. And uh, and uh, and uh, and this part is here. Okay. So if you if you this is a much more complicated. So if the last one, so this should be equal to based on the opposite three times twenty one minus eight. Okay. Then you solve the problem. Okay. And you can double check. Yeah. Then you can double check, and that is going to be. Uh, C minus eight, it's 55, okay? And you double check how to get a 144. 144 is going to be three times 55 minus 21. Okay, it's going to be indeed a, a 144, okay? Uh, I'm not going to talk about this problem anymore. So this is a, yeah, this is a complicated problem. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, I just say how complicated it is sometimes, okay? You know, you, just like a debug, so we figured out who, you know, you get a secret data and try and figure out how do we get to the next one. So let's look at the new type of problems. 100, now this is a two sets of problems. 97, 8, 8, 91, 75, and 79, and this missing number, okay? And uh, so what is, uh, what is that number in the parenthesis? Okay. Okay. Uh, inside parenthesis, okay, 
just two pairs of numbers. Let's make some simple observation. I find out, I find out that each time it decreases by four, okay? From to here to here, it's a minus four. From here to here, it's minus four, from here to here. If you can see that, then it's a problem, it's easy. You know, this is minus four. So, so this number is 79 minus four is a 73. All right. Uh, oh, then yeah, seven, uh, 70 minus, yeah. Do you, do you get it? So I'm not 73, so I'm, I'm, I'm typing wrong. Okay, it's not a, yeah. So this is a minus nine, okay, sorry. Yeah, so you have to figure out what is the difference. The difference, I have a pattern, okay? It's going to be minus nine, and this is 91 minus 75, it's minus 16. So this should be minus 25. Okay, four, nine, 16, 25, those are perfect squares. Okay, so that's why this is how this number is a 79 minus 25, that's gonna be 54. All right, 54, yes. Yeah, so we, we each group of, now each pair of the numbers, there's a relationship, okay? Uh, we we can usually we take a difference. Okay, if the difference, um, the difference, those differences give you a sequence of numbers which are very special: four, nine, sixteen, twenty-five. Right. Let's try next one: six, nine, seven, eight, ten, and five, and some number and thirteen. Okay, so six, nine, seven, eight, ten, five. We want to see what is in common. Okay, what is in common? Those three pairs of numbers, what are in common? Okay, three pairs of numbers. Okay, uh, they probably don't have any relationship between between the between the pairs of numbers, okay? So we just needed to look at the common properties of those pairs of numbers. So let's solve this mystery. Can you see that? Look at those, look at those pairs of numbers. Can you see that what is a, uh, yeah, what is in common? And what is in common? What is in common is that the sum of those two numbers in each pair will be the same. Okay? Then you see that this number plus 13 should be equal 15, the number should be equal 15. Right? Yeah, find something in common. All right, so now we have another group of pairs of numbers. All right. Oh, you got it? Good. Yeah, what is, what is in common among those uh, pairs of numbers? Right? Yeah, their product will be the same. They're all equal to 24. So that number must be six. Okay. 
Okay, let's try next one. 18, 17, 14, 10, and 10, 1. Okay, this time is different, okay? Uh, we do not look for the common property do they have, okay? Actually, how those pairs are related, we have to find out. Okay, so I take the difference, trying to take a difference, okay? 18 minus 17 is one. 14 minus 10 is four. 10 minus one is nine. Okay, I look at the one, four, nine. This is a pattern, right? So that should be equal to 16. So the number should be equal to 16 plus five, which is 21. Okay, see they're not, they're not in common, but they're changing, they're related. Okay, those pairs of numbers are related. If I add those two numbers in each pair, I don't see difference. Okay, I don't see the difference. Okay. Okay. So let's try, uh, can you see the right? If I take a difference, two numbers in each pair, I see a sequence. One, four, nine, 16. So then I figured out the next number should be, right? So the missing number should be 21. Okay. Okay, let's do another one. Uh, yeah, two, seven, okay, four, five, and one and eight. What is the number of, of this? Yeah, I have to write in different order. That's three and yeah. Hmm? Wow, you guys did it very fast, right? So two plus seven equals four plus five equals one plus eight equals three plus this mystery number, they should be equal to nine, and that number is going to be one. It is going to be six. Okay. So here's 12 and a nine, okay. right? 12 and a nine and 15 and 12 and, uh, and the 18 and 15. And what is the number here missing? And then this is a 13. Okay. Yeah, see, uh, this is a 15. So you look at the difference, right? So they are the same. No, oh, no, sorry. This is a, yeah, the same. Yeah. So then this visual number minus 13 should be equal to three. So that's why that number should be equal to 13 plus three. Right? right? So that should be 16, not 16. Okay, 
So let's look at the next one. And they have a T here. So what is next time? Okay, you find the pattern, right? So we will see that 14 over 2, right, is going to be 28 over 4, right, divided, right? The same, you know, 42 divided by 6 is going to be, so this number divided by 8 should be equal to 7. So that number should be 7 times 8 and 56. Okay. So let's take a look at the next problem. Six ten. 15 okay well five okay, I'm going to find out what is the next number as one. Well. Can you figure out this? Okay, uh, so it's a 60, right? So you see that 6 times 10 is a 4 times 15, 12 times 5, and this number times 1. So clearly that's going to be 60. Okay, 
So the answer is 60. So let's take a look at this problem. You have a 13, 12, 15, 13, 17, 14, and some number 15. Okay. All right, 19, 19 is the answer, okay? So when you see that, okay, you can take a difference. So, you know, there are a couple ways to do 13 minus 12 is a 1. 15 minus 13 is 2. 17 minus 14 is 3. So this number minus 15 should be equal to 4. That implies that's going to be 19. Okay, another way to look at it is like a 13, 15, 17. It's increased by 2. Okay, then here, increase by one. You know, plus one, plus one, plus one. Here, plus two, and plus two, plus two. Okay? Right? Right. Okay, uh, let's try this. Seven twenty one. Okay, eleven thirty three. Okay, and uh, thirteen thirty nine. And what is the next number? You know, uh, twenty one of this number. Yeah, 63, right? So it's 21 times 3, 63. All right, now I'm going to give you another slightly different problem, okay? And uh, this is a 1, okay? It's a 4, okay? Watch out. Then I have a 2, 7. Then I have a 3, 10. So what is the next number, okay? 13. Four. Okay, so it's a four, right? So you see that this is increased by one, right? And this is a, and the next case here is increased by, by three each time. Plus three, plus three, plus three, okay? And here's plus one, plus one, plus one, okay? Now if I make it a different order, and then it will be different, okay? So I'm going to still it was one to four, okay? This time I put the 11 here, okay? Okay, then I jump to seven. Then I put a number here, okay? 16, and what is that number? Then this is a little challenge, okay? All right. Okay, how do you see that, right? 
and you you take a look at uh it looks like almost three times the first number right but you have to you say you see almost like you say almost three times the first number 721 is three times seven right and the 11 times three will be 33 but you have 34 so you just add the one to that right So here's the idea. One times three plus one equals four. Okay. And uh, and uh, eleven times three plus one equals thirty-four. Seven times three plus one is going to twenty-two. Just add the one in a multiple, right? So this number times three plus one should be equal sixteen. So this is going to be uh, uh, yeah. This is going to be is 16 so oh. yeah 16 right so clearly that number should be called five right yeah then that number should be called five five times three is in 16 14 plus one is 16. So this is a this will be tricky. You have to you have to really focus on the data. Okay. Okay. Now just add the one. Three times five plus one is going to be sixteen. Okay. okay. Three times yeah. So this is a this is more difficult. You know you you. It's not like a simple relationship between those two numbers in each pair. Okay, so it actually is, a, is going to be the, uh, the multiple of three plus one. Okay, multiple three plus one, multiple three times one. Three times seven plus one. Okay, so that's why three times five plus one is 16. Okay, so that is, uh, uh, yeah, that is a little bit difficult to figure out. I just say that. The previous problem is simple, you know, just see the pattern, right? If I if I give you the problem right here, it's so one and the three, eleven and the thirty-three, and the seven, twenty-one, right? What is the number here? Then you can see, hmm, just three times that number, right? So what I did here is I just added one to the second number in each pair. Right. So that's why the answer is five. So that was the answer here is, is in the five. Okay. What I did is I just the above problem just add the one to the second number in each pair. Okay. So that's it. All right, uh, you're going to I have to look at the uh, images you register on Zoom and I collect them together and I'm gonna send you the, the, the homework assignment.